you're interested in connecting knowledge or information or understanding or interpretation from one domain onto another, be they music, image, whatever, if your idea is about these connections, I think Max is a good place to start. Say I find somebody who has a really great algorithm for how birds move. It just turns, turns out that this community of Max people, I'm not the only one that has these interests, so people find all these really peculiar and fantastic things, and they bring them to Max as a way for you to, again, control something else with this kind of knowledge. What I did here is I basically set up a variety of ways of interacting with software. The big idea is having objects in the outside world that you move, that you shake, you touch, or whatever, and those things can become control data, control information for generating sounds or generating activity. This guy, which is something that looks familiar to people that do video editing. So it has a little joystick, it has these kind of things, it has these buttons. But as you can see, it's just a generic device. It's a USB device that connects to the computer to talk to whatever software. And if you wanted to do uh, music or real-time visual applications or things like that, Max would be a good place to hook that up. There's actually a multi-point sensor like a trackpad, but it can sell multiple points at the same time, and it also gives you a lot of different information about them. Um, you'll see I've just made an interface in Max MSP that lets me see, for instance, I've put a finger down. Now, let's say I put my thumb down, so now I have another one that I can move independently. For each finger, it gives you the position, this surface area, look at that first slider moving, and it also gives you these, uh, what's mapped to these red and green sliders, which are the rate of uh, change of each of these parameters. This guy uh, is all about really the art of connecting uh, analog devices, you know, sensors. So here's a, first, a pressure sensor that we've connected and some buttons and uh, piezo components that are inside. And again, we're using MaxMSP as really a, an exploration, an experimentation platform for seeing what we can do with these kind of sounds. So what I've done here, for instance, is I've connected this piezo sensor that's in here to a resonance model. So as I hit it, it's as if I'm hitting a kind of a drum, an Indian drum that I'd analyzed previously. This one is connected to a different Indian drum, and notice that how I hit it affects the sound. And this one here, yet another drum, and here I have this other device. And this we just made very quickly, and the idea here was to mimic a, a kind of a tabla-like instrument, the Indian drum. You see that all this mess is essentially communicating with my computer. There are some audio cables that send audio signal from these piezos into the computer. Here we have a little IR sensor that we'd found. It's usually used to uh, catch the thief or something like that, but we connected it to a very, very cheap uh, analog voltage to USB device and so on. And then Max becomes a platform for, with, for playing with all these signals, rooting them, experimenting with different synthesis, different mappings, and so on. What this device does is it lets you actually, using this touchable LCD screen, it lets you design your own interface. So what I did is I have a bunch of uh, tracks in this multi-sequencer. So here's the first one. Let me just put some quarter notes on. So if I bring it up, you see that we're hearing our notes. If I turn this down, all of these spaces become friction-free. So now I can just set these guys on the way and we have kind of an automatic music-making machine. <laughs> 